Hello everyone, I'm Jin Zhang. I'm a second year PhD student. I come from Insa Huang, France. Now I'm working in Lidip's lab. Today we will share our work, which named direct estimation of fetal head circumference from ultrasound images based on regression CNN. First of all, the head circumference the head circumference is one of the key biometrics which can be used to estimate the gestational age and the monitor growth of the fetus. This group of ultrasound images are the fetus head. You can see below the images are the HC values. They are measured in millimeters and pixels res respectively by medical experts. So through HC value, we can know if the fetus is growing normally or not in different trimesters. At the beginning, the HC value is measured manually, and then plenty of automated measurements based on segmentation coming up. For example, the image processing algorithm, machine learning technique, and deep learning technique. In the last two methods, usually there are two steps. First is head contour segmentation by machine learning, like feature extraction algorithms, or CNN-based architectures. Then ellipse fitting is performed according to the segmented uh, results. Different from the above mentioned methods, our method is to estimate the HC value directly by proposing a regression CNN model. The idea is learning the feature of fetus head images by the module then through the HC value reference and the linear regression function at the last layer of the networks, we can predict the HC value directly. Moreover, we don't need to uh, ground truth images, so there is no segmentation errors. So there are two changes which are different from classic CNN model. First, the last layer is the linear regression layer, not the softmax. So that can predict the HC value directly. Second, we try three different regression loss functions, not the cross entropy or dice loss. They are mean absolute error loss, mean square loss, and Huber loss respectively. And Huber loss is piecewise function, which combines the MAE and MSE function with the parameter delta. We test four architectures. The first two models are customized. One model has nine layers except the input, and it has uh, around one million parameters. The other one has seven layers and uh, 263,000 parameters. We also modify the last layer of the VGG16 and the ResNet50 into regression layer. In our experiment, we use public HC18 dataset, and we perform the pre-processing and the data augmentation to the images and ground truths before training. To get accurate results, we set five-fold cross-validation. Also, we use mean absolute error and percentage of MAE as the evaluation matrix. For the experiment results, this table shows the performance of four different regression CNN models under three different loss functions. We can see that the VGG and the ResNet based on regression model are better than the customized model. This table shows the predict results both in pixels level and the millimeters level of VGG and the ResNet models. We can see that so the loss function MSE with ResNet performed the best, but there is still room for improve in prediction error because the segmentation error is around two millimeters, while our prediction error is four millimeters. We also validated the significant difference between two models. For the qualitative results, this slide shows the good prediction results with our method. For example, the difference between the true value and the predicted value is only within five pixels. 
However, there are some bad prediction results. For conclusion, firstly, we proposed a regression CN model that can directly estimate the HC value. Secondly, encouraging results are obtained according to the ex experiment results, while room for improvement is left. In our future work, we will focus on improving the performance like attention mechanism and multitask learning. Finally, we thank China Scholarship Council for supplying financial help and the Korean for supplying computing resource. And last, thank you for your attention and have a nice day. Bye bye.